So this week we are celebrating uh, my favorite ingredient, uh, black limes or lumi, lumi aswed, lumi basra. It has a number of different names. Black limes are essentially limes that have been completely dried um, until they're hollow. They have a really sour, bitter, intense flavor. We use them all throughout the Middle East, especially in Iran and in Bahrain, where I'm from, and in Oman. You can use it in soups and stews. You can use it in marinades. You can make a tea out of it. Um, there are so many endless, endless things that you can do with black limes. The main thing is that you just want to cook it out, release that flavor, and make it super aromatic and delicious. I'm, I will become the Black Lime Ambassador of the world. So today I'm making Black Lime tofu. Uh, it's vegan, it's delicious. It's got my favorite ingredient, which is black limes. So I'm going to begin uh, by pickling some red onion. I'm gonna use a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can just use a knife. And you just want it to be into little thin rounds. And then you want to put it into a bowl with some vinegar. If your mandolin has a guard, please use it. And don't do as I do. So I'm going to add a bit of sugar. And I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to use my hands to mix everything together. And just lightly crush the onions. And I'm gonna kind of set that aside to pickle gently. And then every 10 minutes or so, I'll probably just give it a stir. And you'll see it'll soften and then it'll turn a really nice pink color, which is what we want. Okay, so now I've got some extra firm tofu. You wanna make sure it's not the silken kind or tofu that's too soft because it's not gonna fry very well. You want it to be extra firm and make sure it's nice and dry. Um, and you've passed it out any extra moisture. And then I've got a bit of corn flour here. I'm gonna add it to my tofu, and then I'm just gonna make sure it's nicely coated. And this is gonna make sure that you have a really nice crispy tofu when you fry it. So I've got some sunflower oil in this pan. You can use any kind of neutral oil, whatever vegetable oil that you can get. So I'm gonna do this in two batches. Okay, you don't wanna add it all at one time because uh, it's gonna overcrowd the pan and it's gonna slow down the whole process and it's gonna drop down the temperature of the oil and it'll take much longer to fry. So you wanna do it in smaller batches and you can get it done faster that way. So I want to fry it until it starts to turn really nice and golden. So I'm going to give it about four or five minutes. All right, so my tofu has become nice and golden. I've been frying it now for about five minutes. I'm going to transfer it to this tray that's lined with some absorbent paper to soak up any of the excess oil. And now I'm going to go in with the rest of my tofu. So I've fried all of my tofu and I'm just going to set it aside for later. And then I'm going to get started on my sauce. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to grind my black lime. So I've got some black limes here. Um, you always want to try to find them in the whole form as, a, as opposed to the ground. Um, they'll just last for much longer and they're so much more fragrant. Um, and then what you want to do is you just want to crush them lightly with your hand. And then if you can, but you know, you don't have to do this part, but I just like to do it. If you find any seeds, just kind of pick them out and take them out of there. The thing is the seeds can be quite bitter, um, so we don't want those. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind this in a spice grinder to get it really nice and fine. Um, but if you don't have a spice grinder, that's totally fine. You can just put it in a food processor or you can put it in a pestle and mortar to get it to a nice, um, 
ground uh, texture. Perfect. Okay, so I've got some oil heating up and I've got some onion and garlic that I blitzed in a food processor earlier. You want it to be really fine, which is why I put it in the food processor. It's also just really quick and easy. So you want to cook this down for about six, seven minutes until nice and softened and lightly golden. Okay, so my onions are nice and browned. I'm going to add some tomato paste here. And then I'm also gonna add about, you want two tablespoons of this black lime. And then you also want a bit of cumin. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons. Whee! And I'm just gonna roughly grind it. Okay. You just want to add that in as well. And you just want to cook that for another 30 seconds or so until nice and fragrant. To balance out the intensity and bitterness of the black lime, I'm adding some sugar. And I'm also going to add a bit of salt. And I'm also going to add some water. a little grind of pepper. Let that simmer for about five minutes and then we'll add our spinach and our parsley and our tofu and then it's ready. All right, so my sauce is ready. It's kind of, it's reduced and thickened and it looks really delicious. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in and add my tofu. And then I'm just gonna stir it to coat. And then I'm gonna add the spinach, which seems like a lot, but it's gonna wilt down really nicely. A little bit at a time. And while that wilts down, I'm just gonna chop up some parsley. You could also use another soft herb, like coriander would be really nice. Stir that in. I chose to add spinach because I felt like you want something really nice and earthy here and it kind of makes it more of a whole meal. Uh, you get your greens in, but you could use other greens if you wanted to, like chard would be really nice here too. You could use like broccolini or something. All right, so that's all nice and wilted. I'm gonna switch off the heat. And now I'm ready to plate. All right, so you wanna get a nice uh, plate, nice and wide so you can see all of it. If you can't find black limes, you can always make this dish with just like lots of lime juice and lime zest, but really, I really always recommend that you try to source some from a Middle Eastern store. And then if you do find them, you can keep them in your cupboard and they last for a really, really long time. And now I have my onions, which have softened really nicely. And they add another element of sharpness and acidity to this dish. So you just kind of want to top, top it with your onions. Okay, and there you go. This is black lime tofu. V, I don't know if you know this. Mm -hmm. But I really love black limes. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I know. I know I you don't. I know what they were. No, I do. I, I know a little bit. We use them a lot in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible ingredient. It really is. And tofu is like a sponge that just, like soaks it all totally. up. Totally. Mm. Because tofu in the wrong hands can be sort of bland, and mm. but here it's just so umami. Mm. I guess you could just make some rice and eat this with that. Mm -hmm. But I'd also want it in a squidgy bun. Mm. Just like stick it in a squidgy bun and then eat it. Mm. Mm. That is so tasty. I remember when you made when you first made this dish. Mm. Oh my god, you remember mm -hmm. that was so long ago. This is, I tell you what, the perfect food for a cold Scottish night. Have I have I done your people proud? You have. <laughs> you have. <laughs> mm.